Today, there is major news in the world of Social Security. The House of Representatives has just approved an astonishing $4,700 per month extra for every individual on Social Security. They've also passed new spending limits that could reshape retirement planning as we know it. Whether you're a retiree or someone with disabilities, this boost is poised to make a massive difference in your financial well-being. We're talking about improved quality of life, enhanced access to healthcare, and the potential to retire more comfortably. Eligibility criteria will likely include factors such as your age, income level, and disability status. The specifics of eligibility will be outlined in the official legislation documents, so it's crucial to stay informed and review those guidelines carefully. Navigating the complex landscape of Supplemental Security Income, SSI, approval can often feel like a marathon, with the entire process taking several months. It's a journey marked by meticulous documentation, medical assessments, and appeals, all while applicants grapple with their financial needs. However, there's a ray of hope amidst the wait. For those who have endured the arduous path of initial denial and successfully appealed to secure their SSI benefits, there's a compelling incentive. Back pay. This is the retroactive payment that covers the period from your initial application date to the date of your approval. It's a financial lifeline that can help ease the burden of the lengthy approval process. The timing of these crucial SSI payments hinges on an intriguing schedule tied to your birth date. If your birthday falls between the 1st and the 10th of the month, mark your calendar for the second Wednesday. That's when your SSI funds will hit your account. Similarly, individuals born between the 11th and the 20th of the month can anticipate their benefits on the third Wednesday, while those born between the 21st and the 31st will find their payment arriving on the fourth Wednesday of each month. For those seeking to manage their SSI benefits or requesting proof of income, the Social Security Administration's SSA official website, SSA Gov, offers a user-friendly platform. Here, you can effortlessly request proof of income and access comprehensive information regarding services provided by other government agencies. It's a valuable resource that simplifies administrative tasks related to your SSI benefits. Beyond the logistics of SSI payments and documentation, the Social Security Administration plays a pivotal role in supporting individuals with disabilities in accordance with the Americans with Disabilities Act. ADA. This multifaceted support includes financial and medical benefits aimed at ensuring a higher quality of life for those unable to work due to disabilities. Furthermore, the administration provides cash assistance for individuals with limited income who are dealing with disabilities or blindness. Families with children facing developmental and behavioral disabilities also receive financial aid to navigate the challenges associated with their conditions. Moreover, the Ticket to Work program, facilitated by the Social Security Administration, fosters career development for individuals with disabilities, empowering them to work toward financial independence. Lastly, there are ABLE accounts, a financial tool that allows eligible individuals to save up to $100,000 without jeopardizing their existing benefits, providing a means for financial security and autonomy. In the realm of Social Security, the outlook for the 2024 Cost of Living Adjustment, COLA, is raising eyebrows and prompting discussions among financial experts and beneficiaries alike. Current estimates suggest that the COLA for 2024 may fall below the 3% threshold. This potential decrease has become a topic of concern, particularly as it could impact the financial well-being of countless Social Security recipients who depend on these annual adjustments to keep pace with the rising cost of living. What adds a layer of uncertainty to the situation is the possibility that there might not be any COLA adjustment at all next year. This is linked to the behavior of inflation. If inflation were to significantly slow down, it could potentially lead to the Consumer Price Index, CPI, falling into negative territory. This is significant because the COLA is closely tied to the CPI, and if it registers a negative value, it could translate into no COLA payable for the upcoming year. Such a situation underscores the importance of monitoring economic trends and policy changes that can affect the financial security of Social Security beneficiaries. Shifting our focus to the critical decision of when to claim Social Security benefits. The numbers tell a compelling story about American retirement planning. While it's widely understood that waiting until age 70 can maximize lifetime benefits, it's intriguing to note that only a fraction of Americans choose this optimal strategy. Recent research highlights that nearly all individuals aged 45 to 62 should consider waiting beyond age 65 to claim their benefits. An even more striking statistic reveals that a staggering 90% of individuals in this age group would likely benefit from delaying their claims until age 70. This delay can result in significantly higher monthly benefit checks, providing financial security during retirement. Despite the clear advantages of waiting, a relatively small proportion of retirees choose to do so. As a consequence, many individuals end up claiming their social security benefits early, which can be financially costly. Recent data shows an increase in the average claiming age, 
suggesting that more Americans are recognizing the value of patience and prudent financial planning in securing their financial future. There's an intriguing group of social security beneficiaries who continue to receive their payments on the third of each month, regardless of whether they receive supplemental security income, SSI. This select group began drawing social security benefits before May 1997, and their payment schedule remains anchored to the third of each month. These beneficiaries are now an impressive 88 years or older. This unique arrangement highlights the enduring nature of their payment schedule, offering a glimpse into the historical evolution of Social Security Administration practices. In the intricate landscape of Social Security benefits, a distinct and intriguing payment schedule emerges for those Americans who are recipients of both Supplemental Security Income, SSI, and Social Security benefits in tandem. While the conventional payment cycle sees beneficiaries receiving their payments on the second, third, or fourth Wednesday of the month, Individuals in this unique category experience a slight deviation from the norm. Their social security payments are thoughtfully timed to arrive on the third of each month, setting them apart from the standard schedule. This subtle variation reflects the administrative intricacies that arise when combining these two vital sources of financial support. Shifting our focus to the calculation of social security benefits, we enter a realm where meticulous financial planning and lifetime earnings come into play. The Social Security Administration, SSA undertakes a comprehensive examination of individuals' earnings history over a 35-year career span. In cases where individuals haven't worked for the entire 35 years, the SSA inserts zeros for the years without reported income. This aggregate figure is then meticulously adjusted for inflation to calculate the basic benefit amount. What's noteworthy here is that the longer a person works and contributes to the social security system, the closer they come to the maximum benefit which can be a substantial $4,194 per month or $50,328 annually. This creates a compelling incentive for individuals to extend their working years in pursuit of higher lifetime benefits. Benefit payments themselves follow a structured pattern, akin to the rhythmic cadence of financial security. After being approved for social security benefits, the first payment typically arrives, representing a third of the total amount owed. This initial payment serves as a financial lifeline, helping recipients meet their immediate needs. Subsequent payments operate on a more extended timeline. The second payment is dispersed six months after the initial approval, allowing beneficiaries to further stabilize their financial footing. The final payment then arrives six months after the second installment, completing the benefit distribution cycle. It's important to clarify that while there are no set limits on SSI-backed pay, Social Security does not grant retroactive payments that would date back to the onset of the beneficiary's hardship. Adhering to a more forward-focused approach, when delving into the realm of SSI-backed pay, it's evident that the SSA follows a deliberate process. These payments are distributed in three distinct installments, providing recipients with a structured stream of financial support. Thank you for joining me on this journey through the intricacies of Social Security and SSI. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more valuable information on stimulus checks and personal finance tips.